Hey, good morning, YouTube Nation. This is Tom and Ron with RTR Gearheads. Uh, currently, I'm working on the 59 Chevy. I've already done some cutting out. I didn't figure you guys wanted to see any of that stuff, so I didn't bother with it. But I'll show you the after, uh, the, the after effect, you know, where I'm at right now. Um, this is the truck that's been in my family for over 50 years, and uh, it's got a lot of rust, but not beyond repair. Um, there's a lot of repairs been done. I'm not done yet. I've got a long ways to go. But the good thing is the frame's been sandblasted, the suspension's been put in, the rear end's in, all the mechanical stuff is done. Now it's on to cosmetics and taking care of the electrical and then reinstalling the engine transmission, getting the custom drive line, all that nonsense. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But um, so far in less than a year, or just now a year, I've managed to strip the cab, strip the metal, sandblast everything, uh, procure an engine, get it running, uh, put the suspension together, just about all the big major things that some people don't like to do that I love to do. What I don't like is this body work, this metal work. It drives me nuts. Uh, and I'm learning as I go. So uh, if you guys have any comments or you want to say anything, let us know and uh, subscribe below and give us some comments. And we'd love to hear from you. Hey, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey folks, back out there in YouTube world, this is Tom and Ron again at RTR Gearheads. And I told you I'd give you some uh, reverse flip on the camera here so you can see what's going on. Uh, dead center there, that's what's left of well, well, the uh, passenger floorboard. And of course you can see where all the frames been sandblasted and undercoated and all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, we're heading in the right direction. F uh, firewall's been all clean, scrubbed, sandblasted and treated. So we're going to come around here to the door and you can see that door skin down there that's got to be finished off. Yeah, I got to get that all smoothed out, but that actually came out really well, measured out, squared off perfectly. And so in here, into the missing floorboard, which is actually the big piece, is sitting out outside the cab there on the other side. But right here is where I started cutting in. All that floor was completely rotten. I've got brand new boards that are going to go in. And uh, so what I did is I went around and I cleaned off all the spot welds up in here, all the way through in the metal. It's nice and solid, so it's good. A little, little bit of repair down here on the uh, the cab mount, so I think I'll do that without, I've got new cab mounts, but that metal's pretty good. Uh, and I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And then the inner pillars here, you can see the cheesecloth all the way down here. I've already cut out all this stuff here. So, you know, when you're doing this, you might as well do it when you got the floor pans off. Go ahead and get in there and get after it. And there it is. In the next video, I'll show you well, I have the four pans in. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, YouTubers, uh, I'm back in the cab of the truck. And little trick here is try to spot weld in because a lot of this metal is old uh, and you just can't, you just can't do otherwise. I mean, you have to take your time with it. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing a little bit on the video and then we'll move on from there. Not to worry about too, being, being too pretty on your weld job. It's just a floorboard because later on, you're gonna come across here and grind all this mess off here and clean it up. Take a hammer and level everything back out so that the metal, you know, comes comes uh, even with the flush with one another. Right now, I've got a good, uh, easy, uh, I don't know, 3 30 seconds gap there that can be filled in and I'll push the floorboard back in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not very long, but uh, I don't wanna bore you with all the other details. I'll just get to the good stuff. All right, talk to you guys later, bye. Hey, okay, YouTubers, so here I got the uh, 59 passenger side panel all welded in. It's now welded in, got everything lined up, welds ground down, holes covered where I needed it to cover. And this guy right here is, uh, I gotta get some type of like a metal keyhole saw or something to cut that out because I don't have a torch or a plasma cutter because I want this piece back in there. That's like double steel and it was the old piece and it's still good. So I cleaned it all up and uh, took the old metal off the back of that. 
So like if you go back in there is a better stop, uh, a better, uh, um, yeah, better stop because again, this metal is too thin. So I also went in and spot welded here, 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 up here. And then I ran a couple tacks up underneath here so I could hold that in and then cleaned all this up, sealed it all up. So this inside doesn't have to look all that good because you're gonna cover it up with a carpet. But here in a minute, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take paint and then uh, some rust inhibiting paint from the inside. And of course the outside is covered with PR15, which is really good stuff. But this stuff up here is PR15 as well. And it's been double, uh, been double coated. I can tell you one thing guys, when you put it on right and, uh, and it's ground down, I mean, when it's uh, uh, adhered to the, uh, to the metal, I have to grind it off. It's almost like concrete. I mean, it really seals on there good. Anyway, so here you go. That's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna cut it off for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. And this is Tom and Ron with you uh, with uh, RTR Gearheads. And we hope to hear from you guys soon. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube Nation. This is Tom and Ron and RTR Gearheads back at you with this uh, floorboard on this 59 Chevy. Turned out to be a little bit more challenging than I had hoped for. But anyway, uh, you can see right along here, spot welds. This is for, this goes right over here. That part's the original cab bolt brace um, and mounting bracket. I'm gonna weld that back in there because it's good. And what they give you here, aftermarket stuff, it's just pretty thin. So I'll reinforce it with that way. And then spot weld all the way up in here, all the way across here. And you get some good welds and good channels a little bit in there, not all together too bad. Then do some banging and, and getting everything to uh, work correctly because they just, and I don't care what aftermarket company you use, it's just, it just, just doesn't work the way it should. Uh, for example, getting these lined up like they should be, uh, they don't line up. These are lined up because I cut pieces of metal off here, shifted everything over here to get this to line up straight, okay? But here's the other thing, what I didn't take into consideration is when I took the old metal out this when i took it from here to here cut all this off this folded back like that on a curve and so now this is off meaning instead of being level it's kicked up like this so i got more work to do but anyway i thought i'd show you where i am in the progress of uh, doing some grinding and then uh, call call it a day all right thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon